Hey students, welcome to EE Awesome. I'm Rudy Schlaf, a professor at the Electrical Engineering Department at USF. In today's video, I want to show you how to use the serial port to send data back to the computer from the Arduino. Let's do it! The Arduino has a really easy way to communicate data back to the computer. This is done via the uh, serial port. The serial port allows you to send the contents of variables and text strings back to the Arduino while the Arduino sketch is running. And that's a wonderful feature if you ever needed to debug your code if things don't work out as you think they should. And so while the Arduino sketch is running you can peek inside your variables and see what's going on while the sketch is operating whatever you have on your uh, breadboard. So I'm going to show this now to you on the example of the blinking LED and uh, for that I hooked up the LED with the current limiting 220 ohm resistor to pin number 6 and to ground. So pin number 6 now allows us to control the LED. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, Arduino sketch. So I'm starting out with um, a pre-compile statement, pre-compilation statement define and this is that it's a pre-compilation statement is signified by the pound symbol that we have before define. So this statement defines now the word LED pin as number six and this tells the compiler when it compiles your C++ program, your Arduino sketch, that wherever you use LED pin in your, in your uh, sketch it replaces that with the number 6 before it compiles it. That's why it is call, it's called a pre-compilation statement. So when I go into the setup function you see here when I do the pin mode definition for the uh, pin that we're using to blink the LED I'm just saying here now LED pin is an output. So this has of course the great effect that the code becomes much better readable Right? You don't have to remember that your LED is hooked up to pin number 6 and that this here defines your LED pin. You just know it now because you used a human interpretable uh, a name for this pin, LED pin, instead of just the number 6. So this is one great benefit of using pre-compilation statements. The other great benefit is that if you use LED pin in several locations throughout the sketch like down here in our main loop where I use it in the digital write commands to turn the LED on and off. Um, if you wanted to ever use a different pin like pin number 8 say then you could just say here in the define uh, a statement LED pin is 8 from now on and then you could just here connect number 8 instead of number 6 and everything would work again. So it's a really great way to, um, to make code readable and to change code in a very uh, efficient way if one has to. The next command line is um, int counter and this simply defines a integer variable named counter. So int is what they call the type definition, type def. So this tells the compiler that counter is a uh, integer number. Okay, so in the setup, after the pin mode uh, definition as output, I have the statement serial.begin 9600. So um, this here starts the serial communication on the serial bus and 9600 tells the Arduino uh, how fast it is supposed to transmit the data. So 9600 means we're sending 9600 bits per second. Okay, in the main loop we start out with what we know already from the blink example. So we digital write the LED pin high and then we wait 400 milliseconds and then we write the pin low and we wait another 400 milliseconds. So this here blinks the LED and then the next statement uh, there I count up this counter variable. So by counter equals counter plus one. Uh, the counter variable is uh, uh, counted up by one every time we come through here in the uh, uh, loop. So we essentially get a count of the number of times the LED uh, has been blinked. Then the final statement in the main loop is serial.println counter. So this here now sends the contents of the counter variable. Every time we come through here we send this back to the computer and on the computer then this is printed into the serial monitor. This is why this command is called print. Now the ln at the end here that tells um, the serial monitor on the computer end that every time it prints the counter variable 
it is supposed to add a line feed after that. So we go to the next line and wait for the next print command. That makes sure that each number gets its own line as we print on in, into that serial monitor. Okay, and that is essentially the uh, sketch that demonstrates the serial communication. So let's hook up the Arduino and upload. So I'm checking real quick whether I have the right port and the right board. Phenomenal, everything is right. And now I can say upload and you see it's compiling and here we get the blinking on transmit and receive and bang, we're done and the LED is blinking. Now, what you also see is that the TX LED that uh, tells us whenever there is a transmission from the Arduino towards the computer is happening, this also blinks and it blinks with the same speed like the LED. So you see already that we have now serial communication going on. And now the wonderful thing is that we can go into the serial monitor and we can now watch what's going on in our counter variable. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Phenomenal. So we know exactly how many times the LED blinked. You may wonder why we got here two times one at the beginning. This is a result of the fact that whenever you call the serial monitor in the IDE, the Arduino is actually being reset. And so it starts from uh, scratch. Okay, so if you want to change this here, an interesting way may be to maybe add here another serial print and let's print this time a string. So we can just put a word here in the uh, um, quotation marks. So we can say counter variable column and quotation marks and uh, parenthesis close and then don't forget the semicolon and now we can upload that again and you see here now I, I don't use ln here so it prints counter variable and then counter what's in the counter variable uh, in the same line and when we go into the serial monitor you see here now it prints counter variable one two three four five and so on so you see the serial print command can be used to one print the contents of variables so if you just put the variable name into the parenthesis or you can just put a string in there so this string could say i'm in this location or that location in the arduino sketch and so you could get an idea what's happening on the in the uh, arduino sketch while it is running so that's really great if you ever need to figure out why something is not working okay that concludes my EE Awesome video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and um, uh, go to eeawesome.com. Uh, there are a bunch more of such videos to get started with the Arduino and I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.